Aurelian was the first capable emperor that the empire had seen in years. And in only a short period of time, he was able to defeat the Gauls and the Palmarines, thereby reuniting the empire. What took place during the time of Aurelian is of particular interest to our study. The worship of Baal, originally introduced to Rome by Elagabalus in 218 AD, was once again brought from Syria back to Rome by Aurelian some 55 years later when he conquered the Palmarines. The irresponsible emperor, Elagabalus, was unsuccessful in establishing the worship of Baal, but not so with Aurelian. During his reign, the worship of the sun god Baal under the name Sol Invictus would come to be accepted as a personification of all the Greco-Roman sun gods. First, a little history regarding the Palmyrenian Empire. With Rome unable to defend the eastern provinces from their surrounding foes, Septimius, the governor of Palmyra, Syria, took charge of the legion stationed there in an attempt to defend his territory. At that time, he was proclaimed king of Palmyra by the soldiers. Only a short time later, Septimius was assassinated and his son became king. But here, our story takes an unusual turn. The real power behind the Palmyrenian throne was the new king's mother, Zenobia. Directing the armies of Palmyra, she conquered Egypt, Syria, Palestine, Asia Minor, and Lebanon. Coins from that era depicting Zenobia bear the inscription Augusta, the feminine form of Augustus, a title first held by Caesar Augustus, a title reserved only for emperors. The actions of Zenobia were perceived as a threat to the Roman Empire as a whole, and in 272 Aurelian marched on the Palmyrenes and defeated Queen Zenobia in the Battle of Emmaus near Antioch. Only a few months later, Aurelian would crush the Palmyrenian armies and bring Zenobia back to Rome, where she would be paraded in golden chains as a symbol of Aurelian's conquest. Zenobia must have been quite an influential woman, for she did not remain in chains. Aurelian placed her not in prison, but in the luxurious estate known as Hadrian's Villa outside of Rome. There she could enjoy the beautiful countryside with its waterfalls below the temple of Vesta. Historians report that soon Zenobia would become the wife of a Roman senator. Why all this attention to Zenobia and the Pomeranian Empire? Well, the reason is that Aurelian brought more back to Rome than Queen Zenobia. He brought back to Rome the temple treasures from Amasa and with them the worship of Baal. Baal would be renamed Sol Invictus, the Invincible Sun, and later emperors, worshipers of Sol Invictus, would proclaim aspects of that worship to be Christian in nature. Time is the Ally of Deceit, the book and five one-hour DVDs, now available from Partakers Publications. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ.